Hey guys, what's up? I'm coming today with another video, and this time I wanted to do a video introducing you guys to what I will be doing the start of next week. If you guys want to join me on this journey, then uh, yay, I'll be happy to have some people to go along. But I think I mentioned in my last video actually that I will be doing a juicing slash water fast um, starting on Monday the 10th. I will be starting that journey to do the juice fast. So I just wanted to do kind of an introduction video to it. It is um, Friday right now and I was going to do the whole juicing by buying fruits and juicing on my own in the house until I realized that I just don't want to do that. Uh, as you guys know, I am one of those people that is kind of lazy when it comes to going out of my way to do things because I don't like to waste my time. And I guess you can't say it's a waste of time, but I do feel like it's a waste of time for me to um, do all the ingredients myself and put it into the blender, blend it up, clean the blender, put the blender back. It's a lot of noise. so. <laughs> I'm just telling myself every excuse in the book why I'm gonna purchase juice instead of just um, <laughs> instead of just doing it myself. But I just decided that I will be doing it from the Boathouse and the Naked brand juices. Okay, I know what everyone's gonna say. It's a lot of sugar in them. It's a lot of this. It's a lot of that. It's processed. It's preservatives. It's na 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 na. But I just want to see if it works, honestly. And it's so much easier for me just to go to the grocery store, buy like their big bottles um, of juice, get some different kinds of juices, mark off my juices and my waters and see how many ounces it takes to fill full and not full versus the blender. I don't know how much I'm going in and I don't really do milk so I don't know what to put in it when I'm making my smoothies or my juice. So I'm gonna do it just by purchasing the Naked brand smoothie juices and the Boathouse brand smoothie juices. And I'm gonna also be drinking a lot of water, green tea, and I guess you can call it a liquid diet because I'm gonna avoid food. I'm also going to try to not drink juice, particularly after seven o'clock and um, just stick to green tea or some type of tea after seven o'clock but my main drinks will only be during the daytime during when i'm active everything else will be at night i am still going to be working out and like i said i will be doing a review on the alive by whitney simmons which i have been continuing and today was day five or four day five or four that I completed the workouts. And um, so I will continue to do my workouts for those videos, but I do want to see if this juicing will help me to kickstart my detox in order to lose some more weight because of course, totally interested in um, kickstarting and getting under 200 pounds. That's my February goal and I'm trying to get under 200 pounds. So, um, I think by doing this juicing, it'll help me detox my body, clean out everything, um, as in food, and then I will figure out what I will do after that. I wanted to do a water fast, but having empty calories, I don't think I'm in the mind space for that yet. I do think it takes a lot more focus, it takes a lot more um, dedication from yourself you have to be mind body and spirit in alignment and um right now i just want to focus on the detox focus on the non-eating part focus on seeing if this will work for me so i will be doing the juicing starting monday and um hoping it's not too expensive i don't know how many days i'm going to do it so i will let you guys know for sure how long i will be doing it for I just feel like for the most part I'm gonna try to do a week because I do feel like doing five to seven days um, gives me something that's not too long of a journey not too long of a stretch 
for me to be able to um, succeed doing it. If I give myself any longer of days, I will find myself struggling more to be able to complete that goal. And I am uh, totally about reaching goals these days. And I don't try to overextend myself. If I'm able to go past that, then, you know, that's wonderful. But I like to meet my goals, so I do not set very high um, expectations at the beginning. And as days go on, then I'm able to say, hey, you know what? I can do an extra two or three days. And then that also feels like an accomplishment because it's like, okay, well, I was only supposed to do five days. And look at me doing ten. So... I like to give myself lots of pats on the backs this year. All about self-encouragement, 2020 vision, seeing clearly. And I don't like to stress myself out. So that's why I do also think it's going to be best for me personally to purchase the juices versus being someone who is um, making the juices. Because I just know to have to do that every day is going to add a little bit of stress on me that I just don't want currently because I'm not a smoothie maker. I'm not a professional smoothie maker. I don't know what ingredients I want to put inside of my smoothie. Um, I definitely have to look at the ingredients on the Naked in the Boathouse because I'm not sure if they have dairy in them. And I don't know if I'm willing to sacrifice doing dairy again for the juice. Um, experiment but I mean I might just to see what's going on and, and hopefully it doesn't mess with my <laughs> stomach and everything else too badly if it does have uh, milk in it or any type of dairy so right now that is my goal it is to do this juicing for that week I feel like I would do kind of a day-to-day -to, -day to let you guys know how I'm feeling as well because I do know when it comes to calorie restrictions sometimes um the first three days can be the worst especially because your body is not used to having so low of a calorie restriction and that's why i do not do them for too long like i said with this one i'm just doing it to kind of kickstart a detox um of an idea that i have maybe to do next week or in two weeks and um I just really want to see if it'll help me get to my goal of being under 200 pounds by the end of February and I'm not going to do it of course for the entire half or the entire rest of the month but I do want to do it to see if it works why not it worked once before for me so I will see if it works again um as you guys know before the egg diet my highest weight was 241 and I am really 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 into this fitness slash weight loss lifestyle that I'm currently in. I'm actually really enjoying working out now that I have passed the first couple of days of soreness and now it's just becoming more fun. Um, I've told you guys before, I've always liked to run. I just haven't been able to run in a very long time. So I do want to get back into running and um, I do feel like that is coming up as well. But once again, just want to kickstart and detox my body a little and um, we'll see what kind of juices I do because if there's too much dairy inside of these naked or boathouse juices then I will have to see if there are other juices out there that allow me to have the juice diet like if it's like an apple juice orange juice or a clear liquid type of diet like there's all sorts of you know liquid diets out there so I will have to do more research into liquid diets as well just if this does not work out as in dairy because I don't consume dairy anymore and I think that is a big part of why I'm losing weight, why I'm not as bloated, why I'm not as, um, you know, uh, less energetic, why I have more energy. So um, I do want to do this and I am excited to do this and i can't wait to share my results with you guys so i definitely just wanted to make a short little video for you guys explaining what's going to be going on for the next week for me of course i will be doing my weight on wednesdays and posting every other day like i told you guys i would be with no problem um and i'm not sure if i'll do day-to-day -day kind of weigh-ins but i definitely will do like a check-in to let you guys know how i'm feeling my energy all of that good stuff just to make sure that I have a record of it and seeing if it's worth it at all anyway to do this um I have seen that other people have tried it and there are 
usually great results. Um, you know, people don't really agree with people using things that are store bought, but you do what you got to do. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to buy all the ingredients and make your juice, go, go ahead, boo. You know? But for me, right now, I just I like my time. I like being able to have time with my son and not have to take more time than needed to do things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. All right, guys, I will see you on Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe. Bye, guys. <laughs>